Can a simple vitamin that thousands take daily be a silent killer? Imagine taking a supplement you thought was safe, only to end up in the emergency room with life-threatening kidney damage. That's exactly what happened to a 55-year-old woman whose story we're diving into today. Stay tuned as we find out what happened and how you can avoid making the same mistake. The case of 55-year-old. In December 2022, a 55-year-old woman suffering from kidney disease was rushed to the emergency department. She was extremely weak, had a very slow heart rate, noticeable swelling, and her body temperature was alarmingly low at just 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Concerned about a potential worsening of her kidney condition, doctors immediately checked her creatinine levels. The results were astonishing. Her serum creatinine levels had skyrocketed to 3,530 milligrams per DL a number significantly higher than it had been just two months earlier. This indicated her kidneys were rapidly failing. She was no longer producing urine and her body was overwhelmed with toxic substances. As a result, she was urgently moved to the intensive care unit and placed on dialysis that very day. The medical team was puzzled by the rapid decline in her kidney function. After extensive testing, they identified the unlikely culprit, a common vitamin supplement that many people take daily. It turned out that this seemingly harmless supplement was extremely harmful to her. It's not always the prescription medications that pose the greatest risk. Sometimes it's the -the over-the-counter vitamin supplements. Specifically, there are five vitamins that can be particularly hazardous if not used correctly. Today, I'm going to discuss the grave risks associated with certain vitamins for those with kidney disease. While avoiding all vitamin supplements can also be detrimental to kidney health, it's crucial to be vigilant about what you take. This incident is part of a broader pattern of hospitalizations caused by inappropriate vitamin supplementation. Not long ago, a TikTok influencer developed kidney stones from taking vitamins to boost her immune system. Earlier in the year, a 61-year-old man suffered excruciating pain, which was initially suspected to be pancreatitis, but was later attributed to his vitamin supplements. Another alarming case involved a patient who experienced constant vomiting, severe leg cramps, and a dramatic weight loss of 28 pounds after just a month of taking excessive amounts of a vitamin, which ultimately ultimately led to the destruction of his kidneys. These stories underscore the importance of being well-informed about the supplements you use, understanding the appropriate dosages, and being aware of the risks involved. Kidney disease patients are particularly vulnerable because their impaired kidney function prevents them from effectively eliminating excess vitamins from their bodies. This can lead to a dangerous accumulation, putting their kidney health at further risk five dangerous vitamins, awareness and education on the proper use of vitamin supplements are crucial, especially for those with kidney conditions. By understanding these risks and managing supplement intake carefully, patients can avoid potential health hazards and protect their kidneys from further damage. And if you're a regular here, you might already understand the importance of being cautious with supplements, especially vitamins. Today, we'll dive into five vitamins that carry risks not widely known. Some of these can be harmful if taken in incorrect forms or dosages, while others pose a risk to individuals with kidney conditions. It's crucial to approach these vitamins with care. Vitamin number five. We'll start with the least dangerous and move to those with increasingly severe risk. Coming in at number five is vitamin D, a vital nutrient for kidney health, which might sound familiar as I've emphasized its importance repeatedly. However, It's essential to manage your intake carefully. Vitamin D is fat soluble, meaning excessive amounts can accumulate in the body, potentially leading to complications such as hyperphosphatemia and hypercalcemia. Both conditions are serious and can cause arterial calcification. In some cases, high levels of vitamin D can even lead to acute kidney injury. To avoid these risks, it's recommended to consume vitamin D in moderation. The ideal dosage is typically about uh, 2,000 IU per day, combined with 100 milligrams of vitamin K2 and magnesium to prevent arterial calcification. This regimen helps maintain vitamin D levels safely. Sharing this information could be crucial for anyone with chronic kidney disease. So consider passing this video along and don't forget to like it to help spread the word. We've also created a a detailed video about the relationship between vitamin D and kidney health, which you can find linked above and in the description below. 
It can be alarming to learn about the potential dangers associated with vitamins we need, but being informed is far better than facing the consequences of ignorance, such as renal failure. Understanding these risks allows you to protect your kidney health effectively. Moreover, there's another vitamin that must be handled with care, particularly in its synthetic form, as it could potentially be harmful. Vitamin number four. Number four on our list of concerns is kyanocobalamin, the synthetic form of vitamin B12. Unlike its natural counterpart, methylcobalamin, cyanocobalamin is not derived from natural sources, but is manufactured for its cost effectiveness. This synthetic version is commonly included in many multivitamins, making it widely consumed. However, its use can pose significant risks, particularly for individuals with chronic kidney disease, CKD. Cyanocobalamin is known to contain trace amounts of cyanide, a fact implied by its name. While the body of a healthy individual can process and eliminate these traces of cyanide without any issues, the situation changes when kidney function is compromised. In individuals with reduced glomerular filtration rate, GFR, the ability to clear cyanide decreases, potentially leading to toxic buildup and accelerated kidney damage. Research has indicated that the metabolism of high doses of canocobalamin can lead to the production of small amounts of cyanide. For those with CKD, this could hasten the decline in kidney function. Therefore, those with kidney issues should be particularly cautious and opt for methylcobalamin instead. This natural form of vitamin B12 is safer for individuals with reduced kidney function and is generally recommended at a dose of 6 micrograms daily, particularly for those on a plant-based diet. It's crucial to understand that vitamin B12 is poorly absorbed in its synthetic form, prompting manufacturers to pack these supplements with large quantities of cyanocobalamin, sometimes 100 times the recommended daily intake, RDI. Such high levels are intended to ensure adequate absorption, but they can also heighten the risk of cyanide accumulation in those with kidney impairments. While it's vital for those on a renal diet to supplement vitamin B12 to avoid deficiency, which could trigger a host of severe health issues like vascular disease and anemia, choosing the right form and dosage is equally important. Habitual deficiency of vitamin B12 can lead to significant health complications, so supplementation is necessary but it must be approached with caution to ensure safety it's advised that individuals especially those with ckd check their supplement labels meticulously to confirm they are consuming methylcobalamin and not cyanocobalamin by doing so they avoid the risks associated with cyanide while still reaping the benefits of vitamin b12 which is essential for maintaining good health vitamin number three Continuing with our countdown, our third entry highlights a widely used vitamin that may pose significant health risks. Studies have linked this everyday vitamin to a range of adverse effects, including markedly increased blood pressure and an elevated risk for stroke and cancer. Additional research suggests it could cause bone loss, higher cholesterol levels, and even kidney damage across the general population. Despite these hazards, this vitamin continues to be produced and used in various products. It is important to steer clear of Alpa Taco Fural, the synthetic form of vitamin E. If you are a regular follower of this channel, you might be aware that I consistently advise against supplementing with vitamin E if you have kidney disease. The issue with Alpataco Furil is its pervasive presence in the market. It is added to everything from supplements to nutrient-dense powders, drinks, and food items. For individuals with kidney disease, the risk posed by this synthetic vitamin is particularly acute. Vitamin E in its natural form, however, may be beneficial. It is considered a potent antioxidant, and antioxidants are increasingly seen as vital in the management and treatment of kidney disease. Despite these potential benefits, I strongly recommend against supplementing with vitamin E unless your healthcare provider specifically prescribes it. This is particularly crucial when it comes to the synthetic forms of the vitamin. For those looking to safely incorporate vitamin E into their diet, the best approach is through food sources. 
Sunflower seeds, for example, are a nutritional powerhouse rich in natural vitamin E. Just one ounce of these seeds can provide up to 66% of your daily vitamin E requirement, which underscores their value in a healthy diet. While natural vitamin E has its advantages, the synthetic variant Alpa tocopherol carries significant risks and should be avoided. Be especially cautious with any supplements containing high doses of this synthetic ingredient. Always consult with a healthcare professional before adding any form of vitamin E to your regimen, particularly if you have underlying health conditions like kidney disease. Vitamin number two, vitamin A secures the second spot on our list for its potential dangers, surpassing even synthetic vitamin E in terms of risk to kidney health. This essential nutrient, usually beneficial, poses significant risks when ingested in high quantities, especially for individuals with chronic kidney disease, CKD. For those with compromised kidney function, regular multivitamins that include vitamin A are not advisable. Common brands like Centrum, Smarty Pants, or Sweena, popular in Europe, are examples of products that might be harmful under these conditions. The problem arises because damaged kidneys cannot effectively filter and eliminate excess vitamin A from the body. This can lead to a buildup of the vitamin, turning it toxic and causing severe health issues, including liver damage, birth defects, and accelerated kidney deterioration. Vitamin A toxicity is most commonly linked to overconsumption of certain foods, notably fish liver. While incidents of acute kidney injury from dietary sources are rare, they underscore the need for caution. Overindulgence in foods high in vitamin A, such as certain fish livers, can lead to hospitalization due to acute kidney injury. This highlights the potential severity of vitamin A accumulation, emphasizing that even natural sources can pose significant health risks when consumed in large amounts. Moreover, the levels of vitamin A found in typical over-the-counter multivitamins can be unsafe for individuals with reduced glomerular filtration rate, GFR, a common issue in CKD patients. Because vitamin A can accumulate in the body, it is crucial for those with kidney impairments to manage their intake carefully to prevent toxicity and further kidney damage and thus while vitamin a is essential for health its intake needs to be carefully monitored especially in individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions to avoid compounding their health issues vitamin number one and now taking the number one spot on our list is vitamin c Let's dive deeper into the severe case of the 55-year-old woman who experienced catastrophic kidney damage, shedding light on a critical health issue related to a commonly consumed supplement. The central focus of her health debacle was none other than vitamin C, a supplement that many might not suspect due to its widespread use and essential health benefits. Among her daily routine were multiple supplements, calcium, digestive enzymes, cranberry, a daily multivitamin, vitamin D, and notably vitamin C. Each of these played a role in her overall health strategy, but only one contributed to her swift and severe health decline. Medical professionals were initially puzzled by the rapid deterioration of her kidney function. The breakthrough came when a detailed kidney biopsy was performed, revealing extensive accumulation of oxalate crystals. This condition is uniquely linked to excessive intake of vitamin C. The daily in intake of 1,000 milligrams of ascorbic acid, commonly recommended as a normal dose for boosting immunity and combating vitamin deficiency, proved to be a disastrous oversight for her weakened kidney condition. Typically, vitamin C is celebrated for its antioxidant properties, boosting the immune system and even enhancing iron absorption. However, in her case, the high dosage turned harmful with her body unable to process and eliminate the excess effectively. This incident underscores a broader health lesson, the necessity of moderating vitamin intake, especially in individuals with pre-existing health conditions or compromised organ functions. The oxalate crystals formed from the breakdown of too much vitamin C can lead to kidney stones in healthier individuals, but for those already suffering from kidney issues, the consequences can escalate to kidney failure, as seen in this unfortunate case. Furthermore, this story highlights the importance of medical oversight when taking supplements, particularly for those with chronic illnesses. 
Patients with kidney disease or other significant health issues should consult health care providers before starting or continuing any supplement regimen to tailor their intake based on their body's specific needs and limitations. Moreover, it is crucial for individuals to be aware of the symptoms that might indicate problems due to high vitamin intake, such as uh, changes in urine output, sudden swelling, fatigue, or, or heart rate changes. Recognizing these signs early can prompt timely medical intervention and potentially prevent severe outcomes. Cautions and prevention. While vitamins are vital for health, their consumption must be approached with caution and responsibility, especially in those with existing health vulnerabilities. The case of the 55-year-old woman serves as a sobering reminder of what can happen when supplements are taken indiscriminately. It is a call to action for everyone to ensure they are well informed about their dietary supplements and to seek guidance from healthcare professionals to avoid similar health crises. So this video has spotlighted why this particular vitamin ranks at the top of our list for its potential dangers. It might seem inconceivable that a mere 1,000 milligrams daily, a dose not unusually large, could result in catastrophic kidney damage, yet that is precisely what occurred in the case of a chronic kidney disease patient. This unfortunate outcome underscores why this vitamin is a prime focus of today's discussion. Many manufacturers recommend this exact dosage, implying its safety and necessity. The reality, however, is starkly different and warrants a thorough examination. Most brands market vitamin C supplements suggesting a daily intake of 1,000 milligrams. This is the same dosage that the 55-year-old patient consumed, leading to severe kidney damage. This incident isn't an isolated one. It reflects a widespread issue across numerous brands that promote similar dosages. Hence, this is our focal point today. While many assume that vitamin C is harmless, the truth reveals otherwise. This story serves as a sobering reminder that more isn't always better. Even though a small amount can be beneficial, excessive intake can be harmful, especially for individuals with kidney issues. For those taking vitamin C supplements, it's crucial to reevaluate your dosage. While 100 milligrams per day might be adequate, escalating to 1,000 milligrams can be detrimental to your kidneys. It's vital to ensure that your intake doesn't exceed a safe threshold. It is essential for those uh, with chronic kidney disease to manage their vitamin intake meticulously. Getting the dosage right is crucial, not just to avoid harm, but to ensure optimal health. If you're interested in understanding how to safely supplement with vitamin C, stay tuned to our channel. We're here to guide you through safe practices for supplementing vitamins, particularly in situations where kidney health is a concern. Moreover, it's important to understand the mechanics of how vitamin C can lead to such severe outcomes. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is water-soluble and generally excreted in the urine when taken in appropriate amounts. However, in higher doses, it can crystallize and not be properly excreted by those with compromised kidney function, leading to oxalate accumulation in the kidneys. This can precipitate as kidney stones or worse, cause further kidney damage. Therefore, individuals with compromised renal function should approach vitamin C supplementation with caution. It is advisable to consult healthcare professionals who can provide tailored advice based on one's health status and kidney function. This personalized approach helps in mitigating the risks associated with indiscriminate use of supplements. Additionally, for those looking to supplement their diet with vitamin C through natural sources, there are several safer alternatives. Foods like oranges, strawberries, kiwi, and bell peppers provide ample vitamin C, along with other beneficial nutrients, which can be a safer, more holistic approach to boosting your vitamin in intake. Thank you for tuning in, and remember to always be mindful of the supplements you take. For more detailed guidance on how to manage vitamin C intake safely, check out our next video. Until then, take care and keep your health a priority. Thank you for watching, and God bless you all.